Our health is largely shaped by our daily exposures to environmental factors. The water we drink, the food we eat, the air we breathe, our various social interactions and bonds, and our lifestyle choices, such as smoking or exercise. Our circumstances may make us more susceptible or more resilient to environmental damage. The exposome is a concept that links non-genetic factors of health and measures all of a person's exposures throughout life and the relationship of those exposures to health effects. Most diseases are complex. The exposome is about assessing the complex interactions between all exposures throughout the life course and also developing methods to do this. The exposome reinforces the idea that each person's disease is the product of their individual history of exposures superimposed on their underlying genetic susceptibility. We will look at exposomes in three overlapping domains in which it can be detected and measured. The first one is the general external environment. This includes urban rural environment, green spaces, climate factors, and social factors such as social capital, social cohesion, income or education. The second one is a specific external environment. These are more varied in that it pertains to environmental chemicals and pollutants, food elements such as vitamins, and lifestyle factors such as alcohol intake, tobacco, cat chewing, caffeine intake and other elements such as xenobiotics and phytochemical substances. The third one is the internal exposome. These exposures include internal biological factors, such as the gut flora, metabolic processes, inflammation, oxidative stress or aging. These internal biomarkers capture the biological perturbations underlying the associations between exposures and development of disease. Let's look at the example of cardiovascular disease a group of diseases that affects around 530 million people worldwide and caused almost 19 million deaths in 2019. Advances in research have enabled us to understand the genetic basis of cardiovascular disease. But it has been shown that only 20% of all cardiovascular diseases are attributable to genotype. It seems that the environment plays a predominant role in increasing an individual's risk. At the individual level, we see non-modifiable risk factors that are common, such as age, race and family history. Modifiable are sedentary behavior, obesity, smoking and BMI. Besides the individual level, there are environmental factors, such as indoor and outdoor air pollution, exposure to heavy metals, stress and other factors in the built environment. The identification of cardiovascular risk has important implications for both risk assessment and stratification of cardiovascular disease. It also informs the deployment of public health interventions, programs and policies. There is a challenge to exposome mapping because exposomes itself are dynamic. The totality of exposures throughout the life course is difficult to measure and difficult to assess. And this is something that is still being researched. In terms of using data science to unravel complex associations between time-varying, correlated or multifactorial exposures and also the networks across exposure to health outcome. It is estimated that around 70% of chronic disease burden is attributable to environmental factors, that is, non-hereditary factors. Studying how these exposures interact with their own biological attributes, such as physiology and genetics, are keys to revolutionizing our understanding of the underlying causes of disease and greatly aid in further discovery of disease prevention and cure.